show you how to make a martini with blue cheese stuffed olive. A little unclear where it came from, but they say that it originated in the 1860s in the town of Martinez by San Francisco. I mean, he had done really well and made a you know, strike and made some money. So he ordered drinks for everybody. He went in, he asked for champagne, they didn't have any champagne. So they took gin, they added some vermouth, and they created this cocktail called the Martinez. This is an Italian wine and it's infused. They use different botanicals and herbs and things like that. So it's not a sweet wine, it's dry. And it used to be used as a drink where people would actually drink it like over ice or straight. But over the years, bartenders use this typically as an ingredient in making a martini. The classic martini is made with gin, vermouth, and this is the classic martini glass. So, you can make this drink um, a couple different ways. You can put your vodka, vermouth, into a shaker with ice and shake it up vigorously. And what that does, it bruises the ice and the ice breaks up just a little bit and when you strain it and you pour it into your glass, it leaves just a little thin layer of ice on top. Some people like that, some people don't want their drink diluted at all and don't want any ice in it. So another way is to take your mixing glass, put some ice in here, put your vodka, put your vermouth, and stir this up and it will not bruise. So the first thing we're gonna do is I'm gonna chill this glass. I'm gonna put some water and ice in here and I'm gonna set it aside and let it get really cold. This is gonna be a classic martini with blue cheese stuffed olive. I don't buy them pre-made. I make them myself. They're not hard at all. Buy the uh, green olives that are um, without the seeds inside. martini really cold and I don't mind having that ice layer on top it's a uh, it's really cold and it's really refreshing so let's put some ice in vodka I really enjoy vodka so I'm gonna do three ounces of vodka and there's another way to make this drink where you can use about a half an ounce of vermouth and put it right into the cocktail. But I like it, I wanna taste a little bit more of the vodka and not so much of the vermouth. Vermouth can get really strong. So let's take our glass, it's, got, it's really cold. And look at that ice cold glass. Let's get as much water as we can out of it. We don't wanna dilute the drink. Now what we're gonna do is we're just gonna put a little bit of vermouth in here, like maybe even a half a teaspoon, to swirl this around in our drink. And we're gonna coat the glass as good as we can. We wanna get all the vermouth around on the glass. It'll stick because of the icy rim. And let's just coat it as best we can, and then we're gonna discard most of that. We have three ounces of vodka. We're just gonna put that inside of our tin and shake this up. Shake it. I don't want to dilute the vodka. And so we're going to strain that into our glass. Now we're not done. We're going to put a little bit of fresh 
olive juice. Not the brine that's inside of the olive jar, but actually fresh squeezed olive juice. And you just, this is called dirtying your drink. And we're just gonna pour a little bit in there to just dirty it up and give a little flavor. So, just like that. Now, we're going to take these blue cheese stuffed olives and just set that inside of our drink. And that's it. That's the classic dirty vodka martini. Cheers, salute. Ah, really good.